So I haven't posted in three days. I was, you know, and uh, the internet misses you. The internet misses me, but I was, I was having a writer's block or a vlogger's block. I just didn't have anything good to say, and I realized the last three days I've been happy, and nothing's been angering me. And therefore, I had no That's creativity. That's not good. That is not good. No, it's, it's horrible. Yeah. I mean, I got You're never going to be like an internet sensation if you cannot rant. Well, I think it's just not healthy to be, to be happy all the no, time. No, no, it's not. Yeah. So, so, I had no creativity and I thought I was dead. I thought I was doomed to a life of happiness. And that was not where I wanted to go. So, we went to my daughter's uh, ceremony tonight. It was a high school, uh, not graduation, but it was like the honors program where everyone got awards and everything. She did fantastic. Because I make badass kids. You make badass kids, hon. I had something to do with it. You were there. I was the badass in the kids. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, but when I went there, I got very angry, and all of a sudden the creative juices just started coming through, and... Uh, I like to share that anger with you and with my wife. I think uh, a husband sharing his anger with his wife is very intimate. It's the key to a happy marriage. Uh, well, it's the key to an angry marriage, which is much more exciting than a happy marriage. Okay. I've been boring the last three days, haven't I? I mean, I don't pay attention. I mean, <laughs> I, but... <laughs> Great, thanks. <laughs> you, we got that on videotape. <laughs> the truth that everyone knew. She doesn't pay attention to me. <laughs> it's a me, me, me. Anyway, so I get the letter and it says it's a semi-formal ceremony. Uh, we are from Buckley, Washington, if I haven't mentioned that, which is in uh, Cascade Foothills. Just got to give you some or, um, overview here. We're an old logging town. Semi-formal and Buckley don't really go together. Their request was that you don't wear blue jeans, which I think could have meant any jeans, because I don't think you could wear red jeans, but, you know... Um, a pair of red jeans. Well, I think they were talking about the guys. Yeah, they were The talking. guys were the guys who were coming with their suspenders and all their logging equipment, and not their equipment, they're not going to bring a chainsaw in there, but, you know... They might. Well, I don't think you can bring a chainsaw into a school these days. Yeah. I, I, I think uh, they might uh, call the cops. They might. Uh, but it is Buckley, White River. Anyway, um, yeah, so I get there. I'm like the only one dressed up. Everyone else is just dressed casual. You know, I mean, people, I mean, I will give it to the loggers. They were wearing their suspenders, but they were the black ones, which were the formal. The fancy suspenders. Yeah, I wouldn't call them formal, but they were fancy. Uh, they were the ones they wear at the hoedown when they come into town and stuff. Logging and days. Logging days. The firehouse. That's when you were to the firehouse. Yeah, on logging days. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a, you can it's, rant about that someday. I will. I'm going to actually cover it. I'm going to yeah. do a blog there, a live blog. But uh, so that was upsetting to me. Um, and then the next thing that upset me was uh, they were giving out scholarships. Um, and they had, you know, they would call everyone up. And they gave scholarship, uh, $250 scholarship for Elk Ridge, which was the elementary school our kids went to. Very nice elementary school. Very nice elementary school. $250, great. You know, I'm glad. Thank you, Elk Ridge PTA. Very generous. Yes, yes, thank you. But Mountain View, our arch rivals. Wait, I thought it was the other, what? Foothills. Foothills, oh! Oh man, I don't, you know, I don't even consider them a rival. They're so low beneath us. Well, apparently not, because you're about to like just explain why they're just so much better than us. I wasn't gonna say no. They're show offs. <laughs> they gave five hundred dollars. We gave two fifty. They gave five hundred. There, there you have it. And you know, you know why they think they're so much cooler than us? Because they're closer to the Safeway. You know, because they're <laughs> freaking Falcons and we're Rangers. No, because I mean, they're rich. They got all the money there. Because they, they they're close to Safeway. They're... And it's Fred Myers and the movie theater. They're like in town. We're the rednecks. They're not, they're not in town. They're out in the middle of nowhere. They're the suburbanites. You know, they laugh at us in, over here in, in Redneckville. Okay. We're close to Main Street. They're like close to Jitterbug and that highway gas that I'm pretty sure is... What do we got on Main Street? We've got a bar and a tattoo shop. And my real estate brokerage. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dameris Kaufman if you need it. <laughs> Real estate agent. House. There you go. Hey, that, that's, we're monetizing. That's great. There we go. I'll, I'll charge Tammy a... I'll, I'll fee, bill her at yeah. the end of the month. Advertising uh, fee? Yeah, She's exactly. going to have to be one of your sponsors now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was angry about that. And then they go up and they're giving these scholarships out and they like batch them all together, probably about 50 different scholarships all together. You know, they're like, and so-and-so got $200, so-and-so got $1,000, blah, 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 blah. It was great, you know, good for the kids. Wish my kid would have fucking applied for one. Not, that would have been nice. I'm not made of money, you know. Um, but anyway, I, I digress um, because that wasn't the point. The point is, is that they brought all these kids up and there had to be right, close to fifteen thousand dollars in scholarships sitting on that stage. Alone. Oh, I think you might be over. Oh, ah, oh no, 15, do the math. It was an average of about five hundred each, and there were thirty people. Don't ask me to do math. It's like almost eleven o'clock at night. I'll trust yeah. you. Okay, 15000 Yeah, which is the 23rd hour after midnight. That's how good a math I am. <laughs> you go. You go with your math. So anyway, then the local uh, dentist gets up there and gives him like $1,000. And he gets, what, like 10 minutes of speaking time? I was on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> He's not even a dentist. He's a fucking orthodontist. He's not a real dentist. I think orthodontists make a lot more money than dentists, though. He, like, works with erectus sets. He's all metal and stuff. I don't even know if he touches the teeth. I think he has his assistants do that. He just comes in there and he starts molding shit. You know, that's the orthodontist that gave Delilah her beautiful grill. I know that because I'm still fucking paying for it. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, yes, We're live. You want to take a seat? There you go. Scoot yeah. over. So this is the girl that uh, had the... <laughs> Had the night tonight. Um, yeah, so I was just telling him about the orthodontist speech. Mm, gotcha. He was not funny at all. Oh, I thought it was funny, but maybe it's just because he's seen the inside of my mouth. I got really excited when he came up. Wow. I was just saying, he was saying he was boring. I was like, hey, he's the, the guy fuck? who like made Delilah's well, girl so wait, I've wiped your ass. You don't get excited when you see me. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> well, you really, you shouldn't be so angry that he was boring. What you should be angry oh, um, about is that... That thousand dollar he just gave our thousand dollars like some well I don't know yeah the, yeah that was 20, my money thousand. that he gave these kids but and he's getting credit for it it should have been like the Kaufman Foundation like well that's where I'm going is yeah. if he he got ten minutes of talking time I'm gonna make a scholarship for next year just so that you can like get on a podium and talk to people yeah I'm gonna sell pots and pans why do but I I I, I heard that and I was like what. Who's going to buy pots and pans? That I've got a food? captivated audience. Literally captivated. They can't move. I can get up there for 20 minutes and I'll be like, you know, hey. I'll get out the kitchen and I'll be like, look at this nonstick and flip it. And, and, say, and wait, there's more. And then I could turn the egg turner. So, like, and then when everybody tries to leave because they have to, like, leave in such a small... They can't really get out of that auditorium. No, like, they're not going to, you know. So I'll go up there and I'll do my sales pitch and I'll say, oh, yeah, by the way, here's $20. And I'll give it to our daughter. A $20 scholarship? <laughs> yeah, to our daughter. <laughs> well, she's, got, well, she's graduating. What? She's graduating. I used to still get scholarships. Yeah. yeah. You're going to, like, yeah. just go to, like, the she's, senior... She's got three more years after it. So you're just gonna like show up to like a high school scholarship ceremony? Well, she's and, yeah, yeah. And while she's you're like a freshman she, in college? Yeah, but she's okay. also gonna help me do the cooking, <laughs> <laughs> for the commercial. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to attend anymore, do I? Well, well then you won't get. Well, it's your husband's show, like. You're not going to be there to support him? I was only on stage for like two seconds and you supported me. He's going to be up there for ten minutes and you won't come and watch him? Yeah, you were only up there for two seconds. That's why I you love this girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was... I'm getting, getting a lot of anger out here. Get so it all the, out. Get it out. Pat. So, yeah. So, I mean, I tried to make a bullet point. I had so many angry points here. Um, and then, of course, there was the last one when we're about to leave. Going up the auditorium... And, you know, it's split in three, so there's two aisles that go up. And this lady takes two steps, looks at her phone, and doesn't fucking move. No one and stops us all. Like, nobody can leave the auditorium. We've been there for an hour listening to people's, like, speeches. I was there for an hour. My daughter had two seconds on stage. And I'm like, 
I'm sorry. I'm a busy. I'm a working mother, and and I had I have, to pee. I did have to pee, and he had to pee too. But yeah, and then she stops, and like, but nobody can leave because she's got to like check. Facebook and everyone's Instagram. being all nice because their kids go to the same school as her. I'm sorry. My kid might go to the same school with you, but you're still a fucking asshole. Jesus Christ. You know, you're going to... And then there was... Before you get any ideas, it wasn't as if there was like a cheerleading rivalry between my girl and her girl. I don't even... I don't know her kid. You know, I'm just saying. She was probably like texting people like, ah... Oh. My daughter got a scholarship. She's probably no, she's supposed to do that during the boring ceremony with the orthodontist oh. talking. <laughs> okay, touche. Good point. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. Anyway, um, it felt good to get all that out. I'm glad that I'm once again angry. I am glad that my daughter's going to be graduating. All is right in the world. Kenny's pissed off again. Yes. Um, we were really worried about him for a while. The world makes sense. But it's not like she's going to know. She doesn't pay attention to me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to do better. Yeah. Anyway. But guys, wait, wait, you can't turn it off. But wait, there's more. Wait. I'm, I'm practicing for the pots and pans now. I think Delilah has something that she wants to get off of her chest. She's really oh, yeah. upset with Burger King. The Burger King scholarship. Yes. yes. This chick got a Burger King scholarship. It was up on the projector. It looked all cool, and they announced it. They said BK. They didn't say Burger King, so it wasn't that cool, but, like, it was still pretty cool. I applied for that scholarship, but they only told me when I was halfway through applying that I needed to actually work at Burger King to get but, but, the scholarship. Where do you work? McDonald's. Why would they get a Burger King scholarship to a person that works at McDonald's? They didn't tell me. I mean, I love you, and I get it that you like you you were yep. just like being awarded with honors. Yeah. And you know you're going to like a prestigious college, but. No. Like, I'm just saying, well, you you didn't, like, really put two and two together there? Yeah, no, I mean, no, we don't live in a socialist world. All all burgers are not created equal. <laughs> you have to go to your burger establishment. Did McDonald's give one? Well, they have tuition assistance, but I don't get on the projector for that. They just, like, kind of slide me a $1,000, like, try to use this on school. Yeah, but why don't you get on the fucking projector? You deserved it. You didn't get, yeah. You I, did, I got to see you once get up there. I wanted to see the, you jump up there so I can they yell. They couldn't even, it. like, put it up there, like, oh, you don't, you don't get a scholarship, but you do get tuition assistance from McDonald's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now Which is, nothing. tuition assistance is they give you money to go to school, right? I think I haven't applied for it, but you applied for like wait, wait. I'm sorry. Like you applied, you tried to apply for a Burger King <laughs> scholarship, and you don't work at Burger King, but you work at McDonald's, and you haven't like tried to get. There is a flyer <laughs> up in the crew room, and it's like two paragraphs long. My, t I'm not gonna waste my ten minute break on reading that. The Burger You're King for AP classes. Okay. Two paragraphs. <laughs> White River's finest. <laughs> She was an honor student. Okay, so the, Burger, <laughs> the Burger King application, I just found it on a website. It said Burger King Scholarship, and I clicked on it. It was easy. I just put in my name and, like, the yeah, email. Yeah, but this, this is the problem with today's kids. She's like, I can't read that pamphlet on that, that pinup thing. So, therefore, I'm, but the website, yeah. The <laughs> ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, that, that is the problem with, you know, these kids. It's all about She's the She's never going to come back on your show again. We just beat her up. I love you. Oh, I am very proud of you. <laughs> no, I am very proud of you, too. This was a great experience. And I'm very um, sorry you didn't get the Burger King scholarship. Yeah, and I didn't, uh, I didn't mean to get so angry at your place. Um, I just, you know, could have done better. I, I, <laughs> I'm working a lot of things out these days. Uh, um, okay. Okay. Are we done? I, th I, I think we've expressed all of our grievances tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Catch us again. We are very angry people. <laughs> they are. I'm cool. I don't